first grade friends. I so wish that I could be with you in the music room making music together today, but at least we get to see each other through this video. Parents, we have been working on rehearsing a special story that we were going to share with you in a few weeks, but I thought today would be a great day to get to share it with you instead. So sit back and relax. First graders, make sure you sing along. And here is the story of Stone Soup. Once upon a time, there were two travelers who had gone far, far from home. They were tired and hungry. Their clothes were tattered and torn. Presently, they came upon a village. They thought maybe someone in this village has a little bite to eat, just enough to sustain them so that they could make their way home. They went to the first house in the village and knocked on the door. The door opened and a woman looked out. They said, we are poor, weary travelers. We are tired and hungry. Do you care, will you share? Do you have any food? The woman looked at them and said, there is no food here. We don't care and we won't share. And she slammed the door in their face. They went to the next house in the village. The door opened and a little boy answered. And they said, we are poor, weary travelers. We are tired and hungry. Do you care, will you share? Do you have any food? The little boy looked at them and said, we don't care and we won't share and slammed the door in their face. They went to every house in the village and every house they said, do you care, will you share? And at every house, the answer was the same. We don't care and we won't share. And the door slammed in their faces. By the time the travelers had gone through every house in the village, they realized that the people in this village really needed more help than they did. So they went to the well in the middle of the town. They stood on top and called out, we are master cooks. If anyone in this town has a great big pot, we will make a magical soup. A door opened in the village and a man came waddling out with a giant black pot saying, ha ha, I like to eat. Let's see what two master cooks can do with this. Well, the cooks placed it on a bed of sticks and built a fire underneath it. They filled it with water and soon the water began to bubble and boil. Steam rolled out from the top of the pot and villagers started looking out of their windows and out of their doors curious to see what the travelers were going to do. As everyone watched, one of the travelers reached down and picked up a large stone. He took it and dropped it into the pot and said, we are making stone soup. Well, the travelers really had everyone's attention at this point. People started creeping out of their homes and gathering around wondering how in the world these travelers were going to make soup out of a stone. The travelers looked at one another and said, you know, stone soup is delicious, but it would taste better if only we had a carrot. A shy little girl in the back of the crowd raised her hand timidly and said, I, I have a tiny carrot. The travelers looked at each other and said, wonderful. Bring what you've got, put it in the pot. We are making stone soup. Bring what you've got, put it in the pot. We are making stone soup. Carrots, celery, potatoes, onions, noodles, anything goes. Carrots, celery, potatoes, onions, noodles, anything goes. Bring what you've got, put it in the pot. Stone soup. Bring what you've got, put it in the pot. We are making stone soup. You could smell the carrot as it started to cook in the soup. The travelers looked at each other again and nudged one another with their elbows and said, You know, stone soup with carrots is great, but what really makes a great soup is potatoes. 
A woman on the other side of the crowd said, I, I have a few potatoes. Wonderful, said the travelers. Bring what you've got, put it in the pot. We are making stone soup. Bring what you've got, put it in the pot. We are making stone soup. Carrots, celery, potatoes, onions, noodles, anything goes. Carrots, celery, potatoes, onions, noodles, anything goes. Bring what you've got, put it in the pot. We are making stone soup. Bring what you've got, put it in the pot. We are making stone soup. was starting to catch on. Another hand raised and said, oh, I have some celery. Another hand said, I have a tiny turnip. Another lady said, I'm not going to be outdone. I will bring some egg noodles. I will bring a pinch of salt. I will bring this. I will bring that. And each time the travelers said, wonderful. Bring what you've got. Put it in the pot. We are making stone soup. Bring what you've got. Put it in the pot. We are making stone soup. Carrots, celery, potatoes, onions, noodles, anything goes. Carrots, celery, potatoes, onions, noodles, anything goes. Bring what you've got, put it in the pot. We are making stone soup. Bring what you've got, put it in the pot. We are making stone soup. A wonderful aroma wafted out over the crowd. People started running back to their homes, bringing out tables and chairs, big baskets full of bread and huge chunks of cheese. The villagers all sat down to a huge feast and there was enough to go around for every single person, even the travelers. After everyone had had their fill, the travelers started to make their way out of the town. The villagers were astounded. How could this be? We had enough for everyone, all because they made soup out of a stone. The travelers looked at one another and winked. They said, yes, out of a stone and a magical ingredient called sharing. They shared what they had. As the travelers made their way home, they turned around and said, remember, if anyone wants to make stone soup again, the recipe is simple. Bring what you've got, put it in the pot. Everything counts from the largest to the least. And together we can share a stone soup feast. Bring what you've got, put it in the pot. We are making stone soup. I hope you enjoyed that story. I hope you got to share it with your family. If you remember the words, maybe you can find a way to recreate it, especially the part that goes, carrots, celery, potatoes, onions, noodles, anything goes. You don't have to have a xylophone like me to make music. You could do it on a chair or a table or a pot. Moms, not your best ones. Find a way to make music while you're at home. Keep your heart light and keep singing. I love you guys.